Hey, what's up guys, Steve Tall Toby here. And today I'm gonna show you how to take a section view from an assembly that looks like this and turn it into a section view in a drawing that looks like this. Ow. So when I was creating the thumbnail and the intro to this video, I was using SolidWorks 2020, but I felt like this functionality was kind of laggy. So I just decided to do the live demo here in 2015. So here's, here's what the process looks like. I'm gonna start out here in an assembly and I'm going to choose the section view command. Now with the section view, you can choose your plane here that you wanna section through. And then you can come down over here on the left and choose components to exclude. So I'm gonna say I wanna exclude this sleeve and this tuning peg here. And now down at the very bottom of the section view properties, I can choose save. And this lets you create what's called a drawing annotation view. Now, if this functionality is grayed out, you probably selected more than one cutting plane. This really only works when you pick one single cutting plane. So I picked the right plane as my cutting plane, and now I'm gonna call this drawing annotation view, section view AA. I choose save, and SolidWorks confirms that these two components will be excluded from my drawing section view. That's pretty much it for the model. Um, you can stay in assembly section view, you can go back to regular full assembly view, it really doesn't matter. At this point, I can choose file, make drawing from assembly, and I'm gonna choose my Too Tall Toby basic template. Now, when we get into drawing mode, what we wanna focus on is this area over here. This is called the SolidWorks drawing view palette or the view palette. And we're looking for two different drawing views. The first one is a drawing view that has a little preview of the section arrow. In this case, it's our front view, and that's gonna be the first view that we drag and drop onto our drawing. The second view is the annotation view we created called section view AA, and that's gonna be the second view that we drag and drop onto our drawing. So let's start out with that first view, the front view. I'm gonna drag and drop it from the view palette onto my sheet. Now this automatically puts me into a projected view command, so I'll press escape. And just to make things a little easier to see, I'm gonna change the drawing scale. And now I'm ready to drag that second view. This is section view AA. So I drag and drop that section view. And when I drop it, once again, I'm placed in projected view. I'll just press the escape key here. But we see two things have happened. First of all, we see that the section view line has automatically been added to the front view. And secondly, we can see that the sleeve is clearly not sectioned. So we're honoring our objects to exclude from the section view. Now the final thing we need to do here is just go up to our heads up toolbar and choose dynamic 3D rotate view. And now we can start rotating this section view to whatever angle makes the most sense for our drawing. When we hit the green check mark, we can see that we've now created a really nice section view with certain components excluded. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Maybe you didn't know that you could do that. Now you know. You probably won't use it every day, but it is one that can save you some time and help you create some really sharp looking drawings. If you enjoyed this one and you want to see another example of something cool you can do with section views, be sure to check out this video. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and maybe share this video with somebody else who's trying to learn more about the wonderful world of SolidWorks. I'll see you guys in the next one.